What's going on, YouTube? We're here with Block House Atlanta. I'm your host, Chita Jamie, and I'm here with... Hello, Okay, let's get it started. So, how you doing today? Yeah, I'm, I'm just chilling today. I ain't really doing too much. Okay, I fuck with it. So, let's start off with telling the viewers where you're from. Uh, I was born in Mississippi, but mm -hmm. I've been raised in Texas my okay. whole life. Uh, okay, so how was it like being raised in Texas? It was, it was wild, for real, but I like it Okay, so what made it wild? Like, what do you define as wild? Like, you just can't trust nobody. Oh, that's, yeah. That's the type of wild. So that's the, like, you just know you can't trust nobody in Texas. Or where, you know. Well, yeah. Mm. I mean, you can't trust, you can't, you can't trust, trust nobody. You can't trust nobody, period, yeah. yeah. But that takes the spice. It's different. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. Okay, so what experiences do you think led to you being like who you are and making the type of music that you make? I feel like um, probably like the, what I've been through, shit I've been through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shit I've seen, you know. Yeah. That, 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 that definitely like did it. So like you know, elaborate on that. So what do you feel like specifically like you know made you just how do I put it like turned you into how you are? Like, is there anything specific that you want to call out, or is it just like just in general? I mean, I don't think it's not specific. I mm -hmm. think it's just like an overtime thing. Yeah, yeah, just just life in general. Yeah, you just grow yeah. into it. Okay, I feel it. So, um, what inspired you to fully indulge into like making music? What really inspired me for real mm -hmm. is like I see like people on YouTube and I just like like the like shit that they got. Mm -hmm. So I'd be like, damn, wow, I wanna yeah. I wanna be able to pull up like that or something. Yeah, like that. pop out like that. So what people specifically do you feel like made you look at them and be like, yeah, like this is what I wanna do? But like who were you watching on YouTube? I watch I watch people like EDG. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. I was watching him too. Yeah. yeah. You know. Okay, so DDG is like, like one of the main people, or you got other people too, or is it just like in general? Um, I, I, I fuck with him. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with DDG. I'll be like in the cars and stuff like that, but yeah. stuff like that. Like, you seen a Little Mermaid? Nah. You ain't seen a Little Mermaid? Nah, no. How you ain't seen a Little Mermaid and it's a black queen as the mermaid? I know, but I ain't watched. That's crazy. I've never watched that. You need to go see it. Because his girl is in it too. Right. He's scared to take his shot. Um, <laughs> you take your shot? Damn. Okay. You should have told me. You gonna take your shot? I ain't gonna take a shot if you don't take a shot. Okay. We gonna put the box down. Okay. I might take a shot. You gonna take one? Okay, come on. Oops. I'm telling you to stop. Okay. You ain't chairs it or nothing, damn. <laughs> damn. Okay. I already said you would eat this. Okay. So now we got that done out the way. So, I know it's not your first time in Atlanta. So, um, with that being the case, how do you feel like the Atlanta scene differs from like Texas or anywhere else you perform? Um, Atlanta just lit. Mm -hmm. It is like this is a good ass city for real. It's, yeah. It's love. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You don't you don't get a lot of cities that just show you love and they don't really know who you yeah. do it. So, yeah. Like, I feel like when it comes to Atlanta, especially with the underground scene, it's so many people from different areas. So it's like we're more accepted because a lot of places I feel like are as accepting to new sounds. And the underground scene is more so like you come out and if your beat is fire and they hear the first few seconds of your beat and that shit is lit, 
everybody gonna be jumping. They don't even got another word. Like, they don't even got another word. They're gonna be fucking with your shit. So, um, do you, how do you feel about your flop house performance? Yeah. <laughs> Cause I've seen the video on YouTube and that shit was lit. So, how do you feel like, how do you feel like that made you feel in that moment, seeing everybody fucking with your music, fucking with your sound, like all your niggas was out, the bitches was out, like how did that make you feel as an artist? It's like, it's expected. Mm -hmm. So, I don't want to just say it, you know, like I was just, but I felt like I, I had the best performance. Okay. You know yeah, I fucked with that. So, I fucked with that. That's, that's how you're supposed to feel, shit. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I was fucking with the vibes and that's in there though. They came different. I didn't know they was gonna come like that. Like mm -hmm. when they music started playing, they singing songs. Mm -hmm. They was already knowing it. Yeah, I didn't okay. know they was gonna come like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So have you performed in um, other places outside of Atlanta? Nah. Mm -hmm. I think I probably did like one one little show in Texas, but mm -hmm. it wasn't like how Flop House was. Nah. Yeah. Okay, so are you open to performing in more places, or do you like prefer performing in Atlanta? Yeah, I'm, I'm open to mm -hmm. perform in more places. It's just that you know, I'm yeah. in Atlanta, so yeah. it's more. Okay. okay, so tell me a little bit about your group. I know that's not just like technically it's not a group, it's just you and your partner. Them. So tell me a little bit about like how that started and what inspired that collaboration. Really, it was just. Uh, like we reached out to each other mm -hmm. and just connected yeah. like that. So it wasn't really like on like music time. Mm -hmm. We really all was like friends for real. Okay. And the music just came. It with. just came with it. So how long have y'all been knowing each other? We knew each other since about probably about 2018, 2019. Okay, that's cool, man. That's a cool man. So. <clears throat> Talking about music, so I've seen that you've done collabs with Young Brando, True, Valencia. So what was it like working with them and what was your experience just being able to you know, work with them as producers? So, Brando, you know, that's, that's probably my favorite one mm -hmm. to work with. Why is that your favorite? Cause with Brando, he he makes he he makes all my music like everything okay. I do. I don't even gotta be produced by him. He, mm -hmm. But he makes all my music. Everything I do, mm -hmm. everything I do goes through Brando. Okay, so, so y'all got that connection already. Like y'all got that understanding. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like that's like that's twin. So yeah, everything he he was just a real nigga on his end by looking out for me, coming mm -hmm. through with, with that end. So it's just like, it's just love from where yeah. though, on a different type of time. Okay, I fuck with that. I fuck with that. So what about like True and Valencia? Like, how do you feel? What was your experience working with them? True. See, True, that's, yeah, that's my love. I, mm -hmm. I like, I like working with True. Mm -hmm. We get like any, any, any song, any beat, mm -hmm. True do is just like, it's You it's just a, know what you're doing. Yeah, okay. it's a thing. I put my faith in True though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then um, how about Valencia? You probably working Valencia. with him. Valencia different. How he different like, compared like compared to the two or just in general? Yeah, like compared to the two mm -hmm. in general, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. is just different. Valencia, he he know, he know how to play piano like. Oh shit! Real, okay. Like he really piano, know how to play yeah. piano for real. Like, okay. Honestly, real like. That's know. dope. That's dope for real. I like barely hear people know how to play so, piano. Yeah. That's why I think that's mm -hmm. different. Like, he, he like got different musical talents outside of like, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. So, what are some of your recent projects that we have to look out for? I just dropped the tape. Mm -hmm. Am I real? It's a post on EP. Okay. okay. That's the last thing I did. Mm -hmm. And I ain't really, I ain't really got nothing to look out for right now. Why not? Just, just stay on the lookout. Um, okay, y'all heard it here first. Stay on the lookout, y'all. Uh, stay on the lookout. Okay, so who are your like? Okay, so who are your like top three rappers? Alright. Like it could be any, any, 
anything. It don't gotta be underground, it gotta be mainstream, whoever comes to your mind. I really don't listen to the underground for real. Oh, for real? Yeah, I don't okay. listen to the underground. I, I listen to like real life. Yeah, yeah. So who are your top three? Um, I'd say for sure Chief Keep. Mm-hmm. That's probably my main inspiration. Think like, where do you think your sound best fits? If that makes sense. It's crazy because you know nowadays when people are making underground music, they mm-hmm. hear somebody else mm-hmm. and they like come up off their sound off doing what they uh, heard. With somebody else, yeah. So when it comes to the underground, it's not necessarily like different sounds in different states because it's all one for real mm. it's just like where it's popping at okay so um <clears throat> do you feel like your sound like compares to anybody like i would say compares but do you feel like your sound i guess compares is a better word but compares to anybody's like sound in you or not houston in texas no no so, do you feel like you started your sound in Texas? Like, you feel like other niggas is trying to, like, bite your sound? Or yeah, you for, uh, for sure. Mm-hmm. Or other niggas in Texas is getting, like, hip to it? For sure. It's, it's, they already hip. They, they trying to bite it. It's, uh, it's, it's in Texas, Houston, mm-hmm. Atlanta, everywhere. Mm-hmm. They all trying to bite it. They trying to bite it. Everywhere. I believe it, for sure. Okay, so how do you feel about TikTok? You be on TikTok? No, I don't you don't be on TikTok? I don't have TikTok. Why? I don't know. I you definitely should get TikTok. Because I promise you, like, people sound, you put your sound on there, people, the right people fuck with it, it's going to go viral. See, I probably got to learn how to make my own video. It's real simple, though. Like, it's real simple. Like, you got to, like, okay, well, I'm going to show you. Yeah. All you got to do is click this little ad button, and you got to take a picture. You do 15 seconds, 60 seconds, or 10 minutes. So you can damn near do a whole fucking music video on that shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Go on TikTok. Because people don't fuck with you. Especially if you already have, like, your people that already fuck with you. So it's like, if they see that you on TikTok and you putting out more content, they really gonna, you know what I mean? Yeah. They gonna see it. I, I thought about working with TikTok. I just didn't know how to do all the videos. I was mm-hmm. gonna, like, have somebody do my videos. For so what, like... What did you think when you were thinking about doing TikTok? What was like your mindset? Like what, which way were you gonna go with it? I want to do like little short, like little videos, mm-hmm. music. Mm-hmm. Like little like short music video clips. That would be fine. But them them shit gotta be fine. Like they gotta catch your yeah, like, attention. Cause TikTok yeah. is one of them apps where it's like you could quickly scroll through that shit, like quickly. So it's like when you find a video that catches your eye, you really stay on that shit. Yeah, keep going back. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so tell me a little bit about your childhood. Tell me a little bit about like how you grew up and you know, how it was for you growing up. It was it was cool growing up for real. Like, mm -hmm. I was young and bad in the streets. You were bad? Yeah. How young was you bad? Like you was a bad kid or you was just bad in general? No, I was just a bad kid. What was like the baddest shit you ever did like? I'm just say playing with guns. Okay. Okay. I mean like would you at least like over six years old? Oh yeah. I, okay, I was, as long as you don't know baby doing no shit. <laughs> That's bad say. kid shit. But okay. Okay, so there's that. That's your childhood. Um so what is your relationship with your parents? Are you closer with your dad or are you closer with your mom? I'm for sure closer with my dude. Mm -hmm. My dad, I'm close with my pops too, but me and my mom got like, like that bond, yeah. yeah. I feel it. That's how I am with my dad. I'm real close to my dad, but like, you know, me and my mom, we cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, who were you listening to growing up? Like, who were you like walking through high school, the hallway, you had your headphones in, tuning everybody out, and this didn't plan? I was, I was listening to Wiz Khalifa. Okay. Jerry. Mm hmm. I love Jerry. So. Rich yeah. Homie Kwan. Okay. Future. Okay. That's a good little list. That's that's what I was That's your people. Okay. I fuck with it. Okay, so what was your high school career like? What kind of like kid were you in school? Um yeah. You were bad? Because you already said you were bad, but So yeah. And my freshman year mm. I had that was like my first time experiencing freedom. Going to school, so you know, like. So how was like that's your first year experience of freedom? Like, how do you explain that? You know, when you in middle school, you can't you can't do all you can't leave the campus. You can't oh yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah. It's just like you so get you, way more freedom when you in uh, in high school and shit. Yeah. When you get in high school, so when I when I got in high school, I never really, I never really was at, at school. Like once you I got that. School. Nah. <laughs> so you were skipping? Yeah. Every day? Every day. Damn! It was like, but I wasn't doing it just to do it. Uh -huh. I was always doing it, like, trying to get some money. And okay, stuff. okay. Then that's good. That's so, good. At least you was, you know, getting some But some money days I'll probably just go get something to eat. Mm -hmm. and, you know, the majority of the time, if I ain't, I ain't at school, I'm, You was making money? Yeah, I'm trying so to make money. So when did you start your rock career? Did you start it while you were in school, or did you start it after that? I actually been rapping since I was like eight. Oh shit. Nine, Ten years old, yeah. Okay, so how was that? Like you ever put out did you ever think to like take a little bit of, of the audio from like a recorded song that you made when you was younger and like sample it? Nah, I actually got a um a old song from from when I was days. Mm -hmm. it's, it's on song Oh for real? Yeah. Okay. I fuck with that. That's good. Okay, cool. So, back to high school. So, you were in high school. You were skipping. Doing bad shit. So, um, did you ever think about going to college or you just was like, fuck college? Nah, I never, do that. I never thought about going to college. Okay. I always thought college was like a scam. Yeah, a lot of people say that shit. And I definitely could feel that because like, you see um, like artists, creators, just you know, people who put themselves out there on the internet and they're, you know, doing their thing without college, without a diploma and shit. So, you know, but no shade to people that's in college. No shade, because I'm in college. But anyways, so, next question. Um, what are some early influences for you? Like, this could be family, this can be artists, it could be whoever. Cousins, it don't matter. I say my main influence in my life is my big brother, mm -hmm. my oldest brother. He um he influenced me a lot. Yeah. Okay. Kind of like clothes, shoes, yeah. shit like that. Just how you know how you are. That's how I feel about my sister. Like we literally have that bond to where it's like I just know that she got my best interest. So it's like, yeah. do you feel that way about your brother? Yeah. Yeah. Now now I I faded. I probably got my own. <laughs> yeah, you got your own plug going on. Yeah. That's how it be though. Like, 
you know, they, you know, they walk so that we can run. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I give them that props. Yeah, for I sure. For sure, for sure. Okay, so um, what do you hate about the industry and what do you feel like should change? I feel like probably the way people mindset mm -hmm. when they, when they, when they trying to get in the industry, I think they should look at it differently. I think they should be looking at it like they chase or something. Yeah, I feel that. So, because it, it's the industry not what, what people think it is. Mm -hmm. So, I just feel like when you trying to get in that type of business, you don't need to be chasing nothing. You just need to be. Doing you want shit. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what advice would you give somebody that's like watching this and? probably wants to like, you know, be on the same shit that you're on. What advice would you give them as far as the industry goes and just how they should, you know, move about things? Um, I feel like you should just stay consistent. Mm -hmm. Just stay like locked in. Like if you don't even feel like what you're doing, making the impact, it is nine times out of ten. That's what I realized. That's like even with me, I can say like for me, all I did, I never made music for the people. I made music that I like. So yeah, like, I fuck know. with that because I feel like a lot of people will make music thinking that it's like, yeah, like gonna appeal to a certain group, but it's like really just do what you want to do. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, the people who are meant to find it are gonna find it, and when they do find it, that's just not gonna work. Okay, so tell me about GGP. Tell me about it. Tell me, you know, tell me the tea. <laughs> um, GGP. Yeah. So, GGP is not a group. It's not a group, y'all. It's not a group. Not a group <laughs> That's one thing that I can say. But, yeah. Um, speaking of GGP, though, we had like a, um, we had, we had we had a little thing going on. We had a little group thing going on. It's mm -hmm. just that everybody, everybody not on the same page. Shit don't go. Shit don't go how yeah, yeah. Shit don't go how you want to. Mm -hmm. So it ain't like nothing we forced. Mm -hmm. It ain't no bad blood with nobody. It ain't no bad blood between us and nothing like that. Yeah. It just say we ain't no group. We just people guys. like move on their own paths and shit. And yeah. Going in separate ways. I get it. So, um, how did it feel being my like the youngest member? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I kind of get big headed though. You know, mm -hmm. like I can surpass y'all. Yeah. You know, like y'all, y'all niggas old. You know, that's like, <laughs> that would be. You know, like I'm getting bigger than y'all. Yeah. Like that, but y'all niggas old. Yeah. You know, so. How old are you? I'm 18. You're 18 for real? Yeah. Oh, so you are a young nigga. Like, wow, that's crazy. Okay. Okay, hold on. So, with that being said, okay, I asked you about the. So, you say you don't got no upcoming projects. So, you ain't been in the studio. What you been doing? No, man, I've been in the studio. Okay, so you do got upcoming projects. They just not ready yet. Okay, that's what you need to say. You don't need to say you're gonna come a project. You gotta let them folks know. Okay, so what can we be looking forward to? You got anything planned with them, or you just, you know, just working shit out? Recently, like, um, I can't even cap. Recently, like, um, it ain't really been too much collabs been going on, like, around me. Mm -hmm. Far as me, like to speak for myself, mm -hmm. but I ain't really been doing too much collabs. So I, why you feel like that? Like why you just don't fuck with collabs with people, or you feel like what? What makes you feel like you don't do too much collabs? Nah, I really don't like doing collabs. I like oh. to record music by my yourself. Own. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so do you prefer like being in the studio by yourself? Well, I know you just said that, but it's like if you had people that like you know. When you were in the group and when y'all were all full and close and stuff like that, um, did y'all all go to the studio together? Or? Yeah, mm -hmm. we always did. Yeah, we recorded together. Mm -hmm. That's okay. what we did. Yeah. So, 
do you miss like that whole dynamic or are you more comfortable um you know doing shit outside of the group um uh, i'd say the group broke up but it's like i'm still close with like certain ones from mm. Okay. So I don't really feel, you know, it's not like it ain't no, it ain't nothing crazy. Mm -hmm. It ain't like we don't got no bad blood. Yeah, it's just it's like just that. Shit. We just ain't, shit just ain't the same. You know? Okay. So do you feel like plug is oversaturated? For sure. Mm -hmm. Why you feel like that? Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Why you uh, feel like that? I'm canceled, but, but I. Man, people be doing shit, calling them a plug, that it ain't mm -hmm. plug. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, it's like a real plug game. It's still there, mm -hmm. but there's so much of the, the food going on. It, it's, just, it's just not, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just, yeah. I don't know, plug, plug, I don't know, man. Shit, he don't know y'all, but <laughs> we gonna move on to the game. So now we're moving on to the game. So we will play truth or drink, but if you don't want to answer it, you got to sit on your cup, okay? Uh, All right, boom. First one, what is one thing that you would never do for any amount of money in the world? No gay shit. <laughs> no, 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 no gay shit. Good, cause there's a lot of niggas that can cop in the industry and they be doing all types of gay shit, like all types of gay shit, wearing wigs. Well, let me not say it like that, but yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so the next one. Have you ever been caught having sex and by who? Nah, I ain't never been caught having For real? sex. Okay. So this gonna fall off that question. Have you ever caught your parents having sex? Oh yeah. Oh, was that I traumatic? Don't, I, nah, it wasn't traumatic. <laughs> it's just like I'm, I'm curious. I'm interested. Like, oh, what? <laughs> like, wait. <laughs> like, what wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, you like, were curious on why your parents was having sex? Why in there getting the, you feel me? I just be on some curious shit. I'll be like, what's going on? That's yeah. how I was when I was. Like cool. you just being nosy? Yeah, I was just being nosy. Okay. Alright. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Tofu. Oh, for that's the weirdest thing you ever eaten? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's that's weird, but it's not like too great. Cause I feel like you ever had like oxtail or oh, oxtail ain't weird, like. No, I ain't never ate oxtail. You ain't never had oxtail? I don't know. What, like, what you be eating? I be eating, like, sushi and... Okay, okay. So if you eat sushi, you eat oxtail. Okay. So you don't drink, huh? You ain't never been drunk. Yeah, I ain't been drunk. So I what's the crazy shit drink. you did off when you was drunk? I don't really think I did nothing crazy when I was drunk. I just, one time I got drunk and I was driving and shit. Oh shit, you made it home? Yeah, I made it home. But like when I was driving, I was you dead swerving. and swerving and like yeah. dead ass real swerving and shit. Damn. So drunk driving is real, y'all. Yeah, don't do that job, please. Do not drink your drive. But if you have to, get there safely. <laughs> okay, so why don't you drink? Like you just don't fuck with it, you don't like the taste? Everybody got their own reasons. I, I don't fuck with drinking because I don't like all that, you know. Oh, that, the heatness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I will drink Hennessy. I fuck with Hennessy. That's Hennessy? the only thing I drink. If That's you, the only if thing I had some Hennessy right now, I'd be drinking a bottle right now. What? Okay. Why Hennessy? I don't know. You just fuck with Yeah. You just fuck with it? Yeah. Yeah, Hennessy like is so nasty. I drunk when I first, like, you know, started drinking. Kid, yeah. Come drink this. You know, and you just yeah. fucked with Hennessy ever since then. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Hennessy is so nasty. So you don't drink no other liquid size Hennessy? No, I like it. It's by choice, no. No. Nah. Okay. Alright. Okay. Um. Shit. What else? 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 What? Okay, so you don't drink. You prefer other shit like you smoke weed? What you do? Oh, yeah. I smoke. You fuck weed. I smoke weed. Okay. I love key. 
Yeah. I smoke weed every day. That's what shit I Wake up. So up. how you feel like how do you feel like that help that that treat your lungs? I don't really feel like it treat my lungs. It don't treat my lungs. It, it hurt my lungs. It hurt your lungs. Yeah. yeah. You smoke weed every day. It hurt my lungs. But I but I look at weed for like some for a different man. Okay, so what does weed do for you? Like it just makes you more zen and chill or it like 'cause I know a lot of people when like my friends that smoke weed, they a lot of them will be like, I smoke weed to numb the pain from the other shit that's going on in my life yeah. or to that's, just distract myself from bullshit. So, you know, what does it do for you? That's some real shit right there. Yeah. That's what I. That's really what I smoke for. When I mm-hmm. when I first started smoking, mm-hmm. I ain't started smoking like on some. I started smoking because my brother was smoking. Yeah. So my brother's smoking. So I'm, I started. Right, smoking. Let me do that shit too. Yeah. Like, so what's the age gap between you and your siblings? Um, two and four. Okay. So yeah. you got two siblings. Yeah. Okay. I I got from my mom's side. I got mm-hmm. two siblings. It's always like that, cause that's how shit is with me. Like my mom, well, it's kind of swapped. Like my mom's side, I got two siblings. I got two younger brothers, and my dad's side, I got one older sister. Yeah. So it's like it's always like that. Okay, so do you like? Were you close with your um dad's like side of the family, like your siblings on your dad's side? I mean, not really. You was close to your mom's side. Yeah, me and my yeah my siblings on my mom's side. They, 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 um, I grew up with them, like, mm-hmm. all my life, been mm-hmm. raised with them. So, okay, so y'all, y'all, like, grew yeah. up together. So did you visit your other siblings? Yeah, I used to visit them. Like, nowadays, you know, we'd be, we'd be around each other now. Mm-hmm. So I spend time with them now. Okay, okay. Um, okay, so I totally missed past the, um, why you smoke weed? So, what do you feel like weed does for you? It just smoke, like, how does it help you with your day to day life? So, you smoke every day. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it just, like, it'll take your mind off your circumstance. Yeah, yeah. What you got going on at the moment. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you stressing about this or you stressing about that, you can smoke your L, uh, you, mm-hmm. you ain't going to worry about it for the time being. Mm-hmm. But if you steady smoking, like, Rolling up, smoking, smoking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'll never be worried about shit. Yeah. But I feel like it, it, it's only good if you ain't like abusing it the wrong way, abusing it the wrong way, and shit like that. So how do you feel like you could abuse weed? Cause I feel like it's only but so how you could get off weed unless you know other shit in the weed. <laughs> like yeah. Uh, I feel like I, I'm saying abusing weed because I you can get high as hell. I ain't gonna no, like. Mm-hmm. like I'm not right now. <laughs> That's know. why you got your glasses on? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I feel like you just, um, if you, if you smoking uh-huh. and you knowing you ain't got no type of motion. Yeah. And, but you just high as fuck. Yeah. Go ahead and tell them. Because <laughs> you know if you think that you're smoking, you don't got no money. Like you, you, just, no but you don't got no type of motion, you yeah. got no money in your pocket. <laughs> but you got the three five though. Uh, yeah. Literally. Hey, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's three five, but you ain't got no money. You high as fuck though. You know, that, that, that's, a, that's what I call abusing. Mm-hmm. Okay, I respect that. I respect that for sure. Because I never thought about it that way, but now that I'm thinking about that way, these niggas be abusing yeah. me. Like, these niggas be abusing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> She's laughing. These niggas be abusing that shit for real. So, um, okay. So, would you rather skydive or swim in like, like shark infested water? Can you skydive. Yeah, I can swim. Can I swim? Took, I took swimming class. Okay, period. Yeah. Cause I feel like a lot of people don't know how to swim. And I feel like that's the first thing people need to teach their children. Cause. What if you just in the ocean? Like, yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, like, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so. I'll take some of the so why do you choose to skydive over shark infested water? You can get bit by a shark. But you know, I seen a video where it's like sharks don't really fuck with human flesh. They really more so fuck with like actual fish. They fuck with blood. I mean, you gonna be bleeding in the water? 
You don't, you don't know. You don't know if you bleed until you get in the water. I'm saying like you jump in. Yeah, you do. When you jump in, the water might cut your skin somewhere. Now you got the water going to cut you. Yeah. Have you ever heard of water cut somebody? Water cuts. Water is the sharpest object in the world. I know they cut by water though. You ain't know that. You Have know. you been cut by water? Uh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, never been cut by no water. Okay. So what's your what's the biggest lie you told like ever in your life? Oh. Oh, you be lying. You see that? <laughs> he be lying. <laughs> he be lying. Uh, let me see. I think one time I told a nigga. Um, I told a nigga I had a hundred. Mm-hmm. I told a nigga I had a hundred thousand for him. A <laughs> hundred thousand? Yeah, he believed it? Yeah, he believed it. Damn. Okay, you yeah. told that like real fucking good. I like, told him I had a hundred thousand if he did some little shit for me. Uh, and he did it. And he but didn't get his hundred thousand. He ain't. He ain't never do it. Oh, what the fuck that? He ain't never do it, but he was about to. Oh, okay. It's just the fact I told him he believed me. He thought mm-hmm. I was so for real and shit. And he was like, yeah. So what made him not do it? Like, what made him back out? I think somebody said happened shit. Mm-hmm. Just, like, just life shit? Yeah, shit ain't going how I'm supposed to. Okay. All right, so what's your biggest fear? Yeah. My biggest fear for real. Is down car wreck. I be thinking about that same thing too. I'm mean, not even gonna lie. I be thinking like I pray to God every single time I get in the car that my brakes like you know I don't know why I think I seen this on a movie but you know when people's brakes get cut and they can't stop their car like they going like 80 miles and the speed just keep increasing and they just crash out because they can't stop themselves like they can't get out that shit is crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's that's small. Yeah. That's my biggest fear too. Okay. Biggest turn off. I don't like, I don't like when a girl, be like too into herself. Mm-hmm. You know, like, always on Snapchat, Instagram, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. shit like that. I don't like when a girl too into herself. Okay. All right. Um, what's, Biggest turn on. So, when I'm on, I like I like when they be when when a girl doing shit for you like little small shit you ain't asked for. Like what? It's like, like say y'all chilling and mm-hmm. she just bring you. Say I'm chilling and she bring me like a pack of backwoods or something. Okay, yeah, like some little shit like this. Yeah. Shit. I'm done. You, you thinking, damn, how you know I need it? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. I'll fuck with that. Okay. So, <laughs> she laughing. <laughs> <laughs> she laughing. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's that one. Yeah. Okay. Man, that's you know, that's you know like, you know how to go and get you some food if you hungry. Yeah. You know. So what's the craziest like life experience that you've had that you feel like was just like, damn, I really went through that? I haven't been in some lives. That's like the craziest one? Yeah, that's that, that's probably the craziest shit. Yeah. Okay. Well, go ahead and shout yourself out for the viewers. That's us. Glory oh, boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let them know where to follow you. Let them know where to find your music. Tell them about the new tape that's coming out. Y'all can find me on Instagram, iomg 2 x Everywhere else, glory boy. Yep. And like I said, I'm your interviewer, Chiva Jeannie. You're here with Flophouse Atlanta, and that is a wrap. Hey, y'all.